Okay, I haven't been able to get out and do any photography in a while, so I thought I'd uh, try to do something with my ugly pictures, and I came up with a result I kind of liked. Uh, this is my original. Uh, exposure's bad. Colors, yeah. <laughs> So I tried to improve it, and I kind of like this, um, the reeds, nice golden color, good reflections, uh, but these burnt out trees were still bothering me pretty bad. So playing around a little more, tried black and white. And kind of ran with it from there. And this is what I came up with. Uh, kind of remember, reminds me of uh, the etchings we've done in the studio. So I thought I'd share how I got this. Okay, uh, here I've got the edited version into GIMP. And I always start out with doubling the original. And uh, for this, I'm going to go with black and white. So color, desaturate. And just click these to figure out which ones you want. Uh, Uh, well, luminance makes the reeds look a little better. So click OK. Now I'm going to put a link in the description uh, of the previous video, how I edited it. Uh, excuse my stuttering. So I'm going to create a transparent layer. And gonna change the color to uh, this color, same one I used in the other video. Six C four seven zero E. That's the HTML number. And I'm gonna just drag that across onto the transparent layer. And I'm going to change that to overlay. Almost a sepia look to it. Uh, and maybe double that. That's a little overpowering, so we're going to drop the opacity a little bit. And I'd kind of like the top and bottom uh, a little darker. So I'm going to click on the black and white image, create another transparent layer. I'm going to reset my colors to black and white. Now with the transparent layer selected, I'm going to choose the blend tool and I'm going to want from black to uh, transparent oh and the layer mode will be on overlay and let's just drag this down and yeah, that's pretty good Maybe you might want it a little harsher, so. And I'm going to run with that. Now I'm going to darken the water up close a little more, so I'm going to click and drag towards the center. And that really brings out the reflection in the water. I like that.
now we're gonna right click in this area and choose new from visible I still have everything saved if I need to go back to it and let's do a little dodging and burning Oh, always duplicate just in case you make a mistake we can turn that off and let's see now dodge is going to lighten burns going to darken so I'm going to choose my highlights and bring the opacity of the brush down bring the size up and I'm just going to kind of go up and down where the water and the reeds meet kind of enhance the uh, reflections and let's get a little bigger brush and I'm just going to kind of no, I don't like that. Let's Z to undo it. Let's bring the opacity way down. Just going to slightly brush in different areas. Make the whites kind of pop a little more. Since the opacity is down quite a bit, so you can actually do several little strokes. Lighten it up a little bit there. Lighten it there. Nice thing is we're not affecting the dark areas while we do this. Yeah, I don't like that. So undo, undo. Let's just bring it in the direction of the reeds. Now let's choose the mid-tones, do a little burning. That's going to darken those mid-tones. I'm going to try to pull some of the dark into the reflection of the water. And maybe darken these trees a little bit. Just do whatever you want. Now I found the shadows uh, just don't work that great. So here we've got it. And uh, I'm going to duplicate it. We really don't need this one anymore. Now I'll leave it there just in case. So here I've got uh, two normal layers. Uh, they're from Visible. So uh, now this is where it's got cool for me. Start playing with it in, in yeah, GMIC. I shrunk it down to fit the screen so we can see what's going on. Here's GMIC. Let's enlarge it a little bit. Now I've just gone down picking little filters trying to figure out what I liked and suddenly down here in patterns 
I picked resynthesized texture. Sorry if I mispronounced that. And I came up with this really cool texture here. So to match everything together, I knew the width was 1600 by 900. And we click OK once my computer catches up. <laughs> Okay, now here we have that texture on top. Now I'm going to go and choose overlay again. <laughs> A lot of overlay layers. And I thought this was just kind of cool. It gave me kind of an aged paper look. Looks kind of like an old photo photograph. Uh, let's take it a little farther. Let's go down to map and bump map. Okay, for me, I kind of like the invert. Looks a little more like paper. Oh, you can play with these offsets. Uh, but uh, we just want to be subtle. I have a tendency of going overboard and it doesn't look good that way. I'm going to drop the depth down to two. Click OK. And I guess it's done already. That was quick. Now we can always lighten it. And maybe if you wanted to get a little more bump map into it, you just repeat it again. Let's maybe uh, zoom in a little bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dumb thing doesn't want to use the hotkeys, so. Uh, let's go to 60%. Okay, let's uh, play with the opacity a little more. And that's pretty much it. I hope you got some good out of this. If anything, it just kind of gave you some ideas on other things you can do. I know this picture ain't the best, but it was fun. Oh, one other thing. Let's say, for instance, it's too dark, you don't like it. I'm going to go with the visible normal layer. Just under uh, the textured one. Come up here to colors. And you can use levels, curves, whatever you feel, or uh, brightness, contrast, kind of like curves. And we can really brighten it up. Uh, 
that's looking really good. And we can go back to the textured layer. Maybe darken that. Getting some really nice contrast in there. So again, I, <laughs> I hope you got some good out of this. Um, I, I know this ain't the best picture, but uh, maybe you can find some good out of it. I hope to be feeling good enough to maybe try an, a real etching of this. Um, I think that would look really cool. So, enjoy.